We all know that weather is an inexact science. Things are never completely black and white. Sometimes we have to talk about uncertainty. And when we talk about uncertainty, yet again, like before, language is key. Also, you must understand your audience and understand what they will understand. Only use terminology that they can get to grips with. Think about how you phrase things. Think about your language a lot. Use terminology that is simple. Probably, maybe, this could happen, a chance of, unlikely, small risk, big risk. All these words mean different things to different people. But if you are consistent, then people will get used to what you mean when you use these phrases. Paint pictures with your words. Showers will be hit and miss, meaning that one place will get a downpour and yet just five miles away it will stay completely dry. This kind of simple expression is easy for people to understand because they have experienced it. Another good way of getting your message across is to use analogies. A great analogy when we're talking about showers is using the boiling pan of water. You know in a, a boiling pan of water there will be bubbles, but you can never predict exactly where those bubbles will be. The bubbles in the analogy are the showers. Some places see them, some places stay dry. With uncertainty comes probability, which is always a difficult subject. In the UK, we've tried explaining probabilities over the years, but most attempts at introducing them have resulted in confusion and they've not lasted long. But I know that in other parts of the world, there has been more success. So if you feel your audience will understand, then go for it. Again, it's just so important though to keep things simple. Use terms that people will understand and reiterate things. A 30% chance of a shower also means there's a 70% chance of staying dry. 10% means there's a 1 in 10 chance. Explain things as best you can.